MS Access Building Advanced Search Criteria 6D. All that's left to do is 3 and 4, star, ABC and null. I think this one will be basically a repeat of uh, this one, just with the things the other way around. So that's what I'll do first. In fact, I can copy that out of there. And if I remove that star, and we'll take that piece. We could take that one, but if we take this one, it's it's got both stars in, hasn't it? So it makes more sense. I'll put that under there. In theory, all we have to do is remove that star. So let's give that a try. So this is case number three. And we've got an extra quotation mark in there, so I don't think it's going to work. And it did fail. So let's just run it again. So everything looks right from where correct number of brackets. The only thing we've got is one extra quotation mark after the like or before the star. So we know where to look now, don't we? So we've got an extra quotation mark after the star. So if we do the same as we did before, we put a breakpoint in there and run the code. It was three, go. So what have we got? Nothing in that. That's got a quotation mark after like, and that's got an extra quotation mark before the star. And that's star left. So I'll bring that down a touch so we see star left. So we could either take that one off, or three, we could take that one off. Well, as I've said before, I like patterns, and having character 34 on the end of there is looking like a pattern. So I'm inclined to take that one out because, as you can see, we've already taken that one out. So we can get rid of those two. And now we've got a pattern. And straight away, can you see the advantage? We're only going to need one star. Instead of a left and a right star, we're only going to need one star. So that's looking sensible. Run this. That looks OK now. And we've got anything before Smith followed by Smith. So we've got the result we want. Next, we need to look at the null, don't we? So what is null? Well, null is the absence of data. And uh, look it up on the internet, because um, it's interesting. It's not quite as simple as that, absence of data. There's no data there. Uh, and if we do a search on that field, this query returns all the Smiths. But if we edit it, so if we just type null in there, now that's not quite correct, but access knows what you mean. So it shoves in is null, and we run it again. Now we just get back those two empty fields, because the values are null. I suggest you look it up, because I, I'll probably get it wrong. My understanding is null doesn't mean no value, zero, or an empty string, nothing there. It means something different. It means the value hasn't been set yet. It's not that we don't know what it is, it's just not been made or dealt with. If you didn't have a surname, you could add a, a question mark. Now that's giving you information because that's saying we don't know what the surname is. So that's information. Do you see the difference? It, a null doesn't mean we don't know what the surname is. It means no value has been provided. If I run that query again, it doesn't show anything because now we've got question mark in there but if I delete the question mark so the cell is empty now now they're back but if I put an empty string in now you could try putting a space in but this doesn't work run it again still there but if you put an empty string in which is two quotation marks and you see they disappeared now it's still empty like when it's null but actually if you run the query it hasn't returned those results because it is no longer null can you see there's a subtle difference between null, empty string, nothing, zero. So be careful with it. If you make the wrong assumption about your data, you'll run into problems. So if we follow the same process we did before, copy this whole SQL string out. We really only need the null portion, but um, I think it's best to carry out things in the same way. So we we'll bung that in there. We'll get rid of that. We're going to delete this anyway, so this is a bit superfluous, but... Make sure you replace it with nothing. In our other ones, we've got surname like Smith, like starred Smith. So we want surname is null. So basically, we want the same as that, but we want to replace that section with is null. So if we copy that bit out of there. And let's replace. Now, does that look the same as that? That'll do me. So to build this text string, we need the surname, which we've got there. But none of those three are any good after that, because they've got like. So basically, we just want that part and not the like. And then we want 
is null. So we'll have that part, then is null, and then two brackets on the end, and that should do it. So I'll just make a new string variable to hold just that, and go from there. So I've created a new string. Basically, I copied this one and just stuck is null in a couple of brackets and that colon on the end, although we don't need the colon. Uh, now if we test this, select null, go, we can see that's not going to work because it should say is null and have two brackets and that uh, colon that's missing. That's a clue, it's missing. Otherwise it looks fine, we're nearly there. What is missing? Two L's, that's two characters. Two brackets, that's two characters, and a comma. So that's five characters missing. So we know what that is, don't we? We're knocking off the and. In other words, the way this is structured, every time we add and on the end, we're using the same set of characters. In this case, we can't because we don't want quotation marks in it because it's not a set of matching strings like we've done in the other SQL statements. Well, we can add and on here directly, so let's try that. I'm, I won't put that character back in again. I think we probably need a space, and let's run that up and give it a try. Our surname is now, but now it looks like we've got too many brackets. We've got three that side and three that side, so we've got an extra bracket in there. It seems a bit excessive, so I'm going to take out that. Well, we need that bracket, so, well, that's correct. We need that bracket, don't we? So we need to lose one of the brackets after the null. Well, let's just take one of those off. And there we are. 